is to demonstrate uh, the short-term and long-term fuel trims, which I just found today, and uh, program them into Legend Datalog, which is an awesome program Jason and myself have been working on uh, over the last few months. Uh, got to, it's not finished yet, but uh, it's come quite a bit, and especially in the last month or so. Um, well, let's get right to it. Along the top here, I've got a uh, the basically the right oxygen sensor along with the right fuel trims um, uh, set up along the top. And underneath that, I've got the same thing repeated for the left side. Uh, the engine computer actually has separate uh, oxygen sensors and separate fuel trims for both sides, as expected if it's got two oxygen sensors. Um, under that, we've got the throttle position sensor, speed, RPM, desired idle, coolant temperature, and map sensor. And I'm going to go ahead and start the car because uh, uh, things aren't really uh, updated until uh, the car is running. All right, basically along the top here, we've got the uh, actual status indicator uh, for the action sensors. This bit 7 here would be actually if they're on or not. And the other only bit that I know so far is the rich lean status indicator. Under that is the actual oxygen sensor signal from the oxygen sensor, which would be 0 to 1 volts. And we don't have a calculation just yet. Um, for Under that is the right side short term fuel trim uh, and the long term fuel trim under that. And these are two's complements numbers. So that what that means is that uh, it's a way to indicate if a number is positive or negative within the engine computer. And um, 8,000 would be the middle point, 8,000 hex. So right in the middle of that would be the zero uh, correction, so no correction needed. Anything over that would be uh, positive correction needed, and, uh, and anything under that point would be negative correction needed. So um, the long-term fuel trim is, you'll see right at that zero point and will remain there until the car is driven uh, with a fuel system problem for an extended period of time or it's just uh, it just has a clogged injector or something like that um, and again the same thing is repeated right down here for the left side um, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and uh, press the accelerator to see if we could demonstrate how some of this works here See, as I'm giving it gas, it's compensating. At that RPM range, it needs more fuel, so it's compensating actually quite a bit now. See, if I let off the gas, it will immediately go lean, and then back into closed loop mode. Go ahead and give it some more gas here. into closed loop. All right, now just to gen uh, demonstrate for you and to prove that this is actually uh, what's going on here, I've got my emulator hooked up and running over here. And um, I'll go ahead and actually disable the oxygen sensors within the ROM here. And you'll see what happens. Uh, as soon as I upload this bin here, you'll see the oxygen sensors stop working. And the fuel trims, the short term fuel trim, to stay locked at 8,000. So basically, the oxygen sensor signal just stayed where it was at the last point it was. And the short term and long term fuel trims are locked at 8,000. Notice that no changes are, are made to any of the status bits. And if we shut the car off and turn it back on, and start it up here you'll see what the difference is now that the action sensors are off no correction taking place doesn't even calculate the signal from the action sensor all right well thank you for watching and if you have any questions uh, please feel free to ask okay good night